Yeah, this one's pretty. This one's pretty harsh too. <laughs> this is a great one. I, uh, the onion pillar is amazing. Okay, first article. We have seventeen chess hand positions you must know. Seventeen chess hand positions. What does that mean? Okay, this is written by Chess dot Tom. Ha ha ha. You thought chess was all about making the right moves, but you're only half right. The other half, and arguably the most important, is mastering the art of hand positions. If you need proof, look no further than the 2023 Chess Bowl Masters. Chess.com's commentary team spent more time analyzing hand positions than they did the games. Okay, this is weird. Uh, I'm not going to lie. A little bit odd. Um, all right, here we go. Chess Bowl Masters 2023. Can Fabiano Wesley and Hikaru repeat? What is this? Look at our players on the camera, Fedosev. One hand on the head, Levon, both his hands on the head. And this is such a classic chess pose. David, which one is yours? Uh, it was more Levon's a moment ago before the head scratch. <laughs> it was more like head in hands, just hiding from the world, hating my position, hating my life. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, we see players often adopt this pose when they're calculating, when they're trying to work out difficult questions. Look at our players. Okay, um, all right, okay. So, whether you're a grandmaster or a chess punk, crack your knuckles and get ready to master the 17 hand chess positions you know. Okay, so without clicking on them or, or without, without getting into them, let me see if I recognize any of them. First one is the shake and bump. Shake and bump. I don't know what that even means. I'm not even going to pretend to understand it. Um, uh, Dr. Evil. Dr. Evil is probably the. It's probably the. Sh or like this or something. It's something with the hand, probably um that's got to be the doctor evil right it's got to be the or the something like the ooh one billion dollars something like that that's my guess the actually the should is this should is this okay so we know the should doctor evil's this what evs means like whatever that if, the, if this is what evs is me it's got to be like the eh. this this probably is what evs i'm just guessing omg is like uh omg omg is probably like like this maybe you probably go like this like i'm doing my best guess but omg is probably like oh like, or like this, something like that, I'm guessing. Thumb post, what is a thumb post? Thumb post is a, just like where you're scratching with the thumb, maybe? I don't, I don't know what the thumb is. The matrix, literally no clue. The onion peeler, the onion peeler, I don't know what that is. The bridge, the bridge, how do you make a bridge? Because a bridge could also mean like, uh, could mean like in pool. So I don't know what the bridge is. The palm pillow is probably something like this. It's probably, this is the palm pillow, right? Or like this, maybe. Maybe this is the palm pillow. I don't know. Anyway, fist of fury, no idea. Fist of glory, no idea. The chin gazer is, I'm assuming that where you, you do this. Um, the robot claw, no idea. The chest mask is probably something like this. Or like this, maybe. Or like this. I, I don't know. It's something like that. But anyway, um... The follicle you, no idea, and prodigy punch, literally no idea. All right, let's watch the shake and bump. Oh, this is the shake and bump. Yes, of course. Yeah. You plan to you plan to start the game with a friendly handshake, but of course your opponent sidesteps your preparation with a fist bump. When chess players are involved, things are never easy. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Th this is a, this is a good one. <laughs> this is Ali Reza versus Pragnant, I think. Or was it Cinder? No, this is Ali Reza, right? Yeah, this is a good one. I like it. I, okay, I should have actually remembered what this one is. The Dr. Evil. Dr. Evil. Your early attempts at setting an evil opening trap, preparations A through G were a complete failure, but finally preparation H worked wholly. Dr. Evil lets your rivals know that they're dead freaking lost and that you have a whole bag of shh with their name on it. So it's um, it's like this. I guess. I mean, I don't know. I feel like there's got to be a better, better, uh, better, better one for Dr. Evil. But anyway, all right. Next up, we have the sh, which of course everyone's done the sh. Anish Giri's done it, Magnus has done it, I've done it, everyone's done it. Sh is both Dr. Evil and Giri approved after checkmating a troll who's been trash talking in chat. Let me tell you a little story about a troll named sh. Okay, so this one we've all done, Magnus has done it, I've done it, etc. Okay, next we have whatevs. Oh, for whatevs, they do the. 
No, but actually, I'm going to tell you guys, I think chess.com, they got this wrong. Considering that I'm one of the foremost pioneers in online online expressionism for the game of chess, I think they got the what ofs wrong. But this is sort of like the discuss. It's not what ofs. This is the disgust of bad chess. It's like, it's like, screw this kind of. It's like the screw this, like, this is a waste of time. This is not the whatever. Because whatever is a little bit different than whatever is different than the, um is different than this where it's just pure disgust. This is just discussed at the whole game, the way that both players play. This is not what up. So they're slightly wrong um, with their explanation for this. Nonetheless, of course, it is le legitimately something that everyone's done. Like, I've gone like this. I've gone like this. Like, I've done it all. And everyone's just like, this is such garbage. We both played terribly. And it's online chess. And what is what is even the point? Um so, but we do have you what ups is that you've been on tilt for an hour lost 200 rating points and finally rage quit by disconnecting you think i'm never playing bullet again what ups it's not even real chess who are you kidding we all know you'll be back tomorrow okay next up we have the omg you outplay your opponent blitz and have a completely winning position all you have to do is be a little bit careful so what is this five seconds okay we got this is some stalemate a little 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 probably some stalemate little right careful but just a little bit or she blunder checkmate. Just a little bit. <gasps> no! Okay. I think that should just be no instead of OMG. But anyway, all right. Um, yeah, Five it's what seconds. it is. Okay, we gotta be a little careful. A little, 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 little bit careful, but just a little bit. Just a little bit. <gasps> no! Yeah, that's a little bit much. But anyway, all right. Um, when you blunder this badly, immediately assume the OMG hand position, then slowly count backwards, backwards from 10. Failure to take this basic safety precaution may result in a broken mouse, airborne laptop, and or epic tilt. Fair enough. All right. Next up, we have the thumb post. The thumb post, uh, the thumb post is, uh, since this hard position provides minimal cranial support, the thumb post is only recommended for quiet middle games. If the post breaks during a tense game, your head and chest position will collapse completely. Ah, so you're saying this is where Nep was down on the board with a thumb. Okay. Yeah, I'm sure I've done this too. I'm sure I've done this as well. Many of us have done the thumb post. Anyway, on to the next one. We, of course, have the matrix. Which, of course, is this hand position can help the player calculate the number matrix of variations in complex chess position. However, when the like of GM Hikarnoff for plugs in, it means fast your seatbelt Dorothy because Kansas is going bye bye. Now, this is a very, very old clip. I know that because when I looked at the headphones, these are the, those are my old white Sony headphones. So this is a really old clip from like very, this is like probably early in 2020, maybe like April or May. Um, but yeah. Yeah, this is, this is, uh, it is what it is. I'm, I'm talking about the classic top H is back talking about the matrix, of course. Um, okay, what is the onion peeler? The onion peeler is your position is so bad that you attempt to peel back a layer of reality. Only to find it's worse that you realize and it brings you to tears. Yeah, this one's pretty, this one's pretty harsh too. <laughs> this is a great one. I, I, the onion peeler is amazing. Um, but also, welcome to the world of chess where you can feel their pain. You feel the pain from everybody losing or blundering or whatever's going wrong. You totally feel it. All right. Next up, we have the bridge. The bridge dramatically reveals your chess masterpiece to the world. Your distraught opponent will resign by jumping off of it. Okay, so this is the one where you do this. But this, by the way, is actually very uncommon. You don't see chess players generally do this at the board. It's very uncommon. Um... This one is not, this one does not happen. This is the only one that is legitimately very, very random. Um, and I, I, I don't think you ever see it. Like you'll see someone go like this. They'll, they'll literally put the bridge under, like they'll be like this, but you'll never see someone sitting like this. It's just not what you do. Um, so anyway, that's that. Next up, we have the palm pillow. Yeah, the palm pillow is this, right? It's what I said. The palm pillow makes sense. It's this one, like I said. Um, don't get lulled to sleep by the serene palm pillow because there are violent tactical ideas hiding under the bed. GM Nepomuchi employed it brilliantly in game two of the world championship match. Okay. Next up, we have the Fist of Fury. I've never seen this. The Fist of Fury is a versatile hand position you can use to defeat when you blunder in a winning position. <laughs> This is a great one. Pretty good stuff. Um, all right, next up we have the Fist of Glory. What is the... Or you can use it in victory when you checkmate your opponent with 0.01 seconds left on your clock. <laughs> what even is this? 
what even is this you guys this is insane um I, yeah i think we're getting yeah we're getting all all the all the gif um yeah 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 i'm gonna make sure to use that at some point that's been lay with like the the right hook <laughs> that's a great one i like it next up we have the chin gazer this is richard poor of course the chin gazer you go for the chin gazer as a last resort when you absolutely have no idea what to do perhaps peace will appear on the ceiling and show you the best move it works for beth Harmon. now this one of course everyone's done it richard's done it i've done it nepo's done it it's where you lean back and you just start staring into the sky deep in an end game um so every, everyone's done this one before this one i'm very calm with too so next up what do, what do we have we have the robot claw the, the machines can make all the right chess moves. So it's only a matter of time before the robot claw masters the art of hand positions. What is this? Let's see. What is this one? Yeah, this I, I mean this one I don't completely get. I don't understand the point of it, but it's still something funny. All right. Next up we have, and let's not forget about that time a chess playing robot broke a seven-year-old's finger. Fortunately for humans, this AI is not on the cusp of passing the Turing test anytime soon. Next up we have the chess mask. Put on the chess mask when your position is so hideous you can't even bear to look at it. Yeah. I mean, I think I've done this, not not for extended periods of time, but I'm pretty sure I've done this where I've gone like this too. I've definitely done it. Um, yeah, the, the chest mask, very relatable pose here from God of Kamsky, of course. Next up, what do we have? We have Follicle U. You lose your queen on a mouse slip and gift your rival first place. But what do you care? You have the locks of a Norwegian chess god. So, of course, everyone's familiar with Follicle U. I've had bad hair. Max has bad hair. Everyone's Maybe not everyone's done this. A few of us have done it, but um, this one is definitely unique. Next up, we have Prodigy Punch. You're an improving adult at your first over-the-board tournament. All you have to do is beat some little kid. Time to find a new new hobby. Now, this one is way too relatable for most of us because obviously this is whenever you show up at your local tournament and you play a kid who's like 7, 8, 9, 10 years old and you lose to them. Or in my case, is when I play kids online who are like 14, 13, 14, who are like FMs, maybe I am level. And they're very annoying and it's very difficult to beat them. So Prodigy Punch is probably the most relatable one, even if it's not a specific expression per se. But this is a good way to finish the article. So a big shout out to um, to uh, to Tom, Tom, uh, Tom dot, dot com or chess.tom. Sorry, some of these are really good. Like the Ding one is hilarious. The Minlay one is, is, is really, really funny. Um, what else is good? Chin gazer, we've all done. I think uh, the the onion pillar I like. The matrix is fine, although I think there's a better expression. The what ofs is also very this Kramnik one, whether it's with one hand or two hand, very very common. This Kramnik one, very very common. Um, very 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 common. So yeah, that's that's what we have. The sh of course also common. So good stuff. Good article. 